Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be setting up my budget for the month of September. So if you have not set yours up already, go ahead and grab your budget planner, grab you a little something to drink, and let's do our budgets together. But before we move on, please go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoy these types of videos. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what are your September goals. We're gonna get into mine. And um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Okay, y'all, so today is August 30th. We have one more day in the month of August. Um, I went ahead and closed out my no spins because I did spend money today and I will also spend money tomorrow. So there's that. Um, and we'll just go ahead and get into September. I didn't get to uh, complete these two goals for the month. So I'm just going to roll them over for the month of September. So here is my September spread. This is the pumpkin spice um, spread. I have pumpkin spice as well as a coffee theme for the month of September. So this is the month of September. I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the back here and grab all of my stickers out of my pocket. This is a seven by nine Erin Condren monthly planner. I do have a link in my um, description box to these types of planners I do get asked that quite a bit so I just want to um, make that disclaimer so so just a few disclaimers before we get started um, my budget is just for me I I currently live by myself um, and I live on variable income I uh, live off my business so I don't share like my income or revenue numbers um, I don't share my rent amount or my tithes but I do share everything else in the budget um, for my bills I do like to round up to the next dollar instead of budgeting out cents I just round it up to the next dollar and that's kind of all of the disclaimers I can think about as of now if you guys cannot tell I am not feeling that great it's actually <clears throat> I take that back it's not that I'm not feeling that great I'm actually feeling okay like my body feels okay but it's my um, my voice I did go out of town over this past weekend if you follow Taylor and I on Instagram then you saw that we were in Atlanta Georgia for the meetup experience um, and there's lots of talking laughing singing um, so yeah your girl has a little mild case of laryngitis which is just basically you lose your voice <laughs> i don't know why i like to say the professional name for it or the professional word but um so laryngitis can come from um like overusing your voice and your vocal cords and then you can also get it um from infection so I think I just got mine from just laughing, talking, singing, all that good stuff. I don't think I got it from an infection um, because I never had a fever. I made sure to check my fever all throughout um, this past, well, I got back Sunday. So I've been checking my fever every day. I've never had, I haven't had one at all. So I think mine is just from, you know, everything else. I had a great time though it was totally worth it and like I said my my body feels okay it's just my voice is not uh, at, at its norm so I apologize for that in advance if I don't sound beautiful and um, I have my little cup of hot water over here. There's nothing in it. I thought about putting Thera Theraflu in it because I've been drinking that lately, but it makes me kind of sleepy. So I was like, uh, let's just save the Theraflu for after the video. We're just going to go with some warm water here. <laughs> so, whew, I also didn't realize that it was making me be out of breath as well. So I'm like, okay. So rent is due on the first. My event ticket for the meetup 
which I'm still paying on, but I plan on paying that off this month. Um, <clears throat> is on the 5th. Um, Netflix will be on the 6th. And so I do go ahead and lay my stickers down ahead of time. Um, one thing I like to do every single month is I will watch someone else's um, budget setup video. And as I am watching theirs, I will just go ahead and lay my stickers down. It's just very like therapeutic and um, yeah, it's just a good little time. So that's when I set my stickers up. Um, and then I save like the actual filling in part for you guys here on my video. So uh, my cell phone is due on the 8th. Y'all, I need a new phone so bad. It's getting to the point where I'm becoming embarrassed. That's when you know you need a new phone. I've had my phone for the longest and it has done me right for many years. But when it gets to a point where you're like, okay, I'm a little embarrassed to pull this out. It's time to get another one. <laughs> Oh, it's time for me to get another one, y'all. It is time. Um, my car insurance. Oh man, I usually put car insurance and Apple on the same sticker because they're due on the same day. So I messed that up. <clears throat> but I'm looking at my mock budget here, and I separated it because I have to separate it on my regular budget. So let's. I'm just gonna do another sticker. I. I have leftover stickers every month because I don't have enough bills to fill them all the way up. So, and together that is 112. And that's due on the 18th. So, um, yeah. And before my mama bears and sister bears and big brothers jump in my comments telling me to i need to rest or i need to take a break y'all i have not worked in a week <laughs> the last time i worked well worked in the shop was last week thursday and then i did post a um little travel day vlog on i think i posted on monday but that was super easy. Like that didn't take really no energy from me at all. It's that video is only eight minutes long. So I haven't, I haven't actually, I didn't do a cash stuffing this past Friday. Um, and like I said, I have not worked in the shop since last week, Thursday. So it's been like a week since I've worked. So I'm, I promise I'm okay. And I think we are done. <clears throat> These are all of my bills for the month some are um yeah some are um business most are personal so once i'm done with the bills i am going to go ahead and put down the paydays so i'm mainly paid from the shops and then um i also do get paid on the 21st from youtube every month so I will probably go ahead and mark. I usually don't mark my YouTube payday. I'm not sure why, um, but I'll go ahead and, and mark it in this month. So I hope you guys are doing well. I am over here trying to make it work. I'm super excited. Oh, I didn't get to show you guys the October stickers. So I'm gonna have the full kits printed out and you'll see them in Friday's cash stuffing videos but usually on my um my budget setup videos I just show you guys just the calendar so you can see what the pattern is for um for the months so let me grab those so if you've been following me this is not a new pattern I had this pattern last year I used it in my last budget planner for 2022 so it is leopard pump leopard print on pumpkin so leopard pumpkins that's october and then the new um pattern for this year is scarecrows and pumpkins so um scarecrows they like keep the crows away from the crops right yeah okay 
<laughs> scarecrows and pumpkins um so these are the two patterns for october i um i don't celebrate halloween if you don't know that so unfortunately for my people who like halloween i won't have any halloween kits for you guys but i have recommended other shops time and time again um if there's something you guys are looking for that i don't offer there's other other shops out there that i can vouch for that do um so now we have the paydays down okay y'all so the next thing i think i'm gonna go ahead and notate is um my weekend here and this last weekend of the month i am going to uh oh didn't even notice that this was another hmm another payday so i'm guessing i have one two three four okay yeah five but technically guys this payday on the 29th is gonna go toward october so that'll really be october's first paycheck so we'll put that here so <clears throat> this weekend I am going to be in Louisiana, so I'm just going to write Louisiana. And my family is from Louisiana on both sides, mom and dad. So we are there quite often. <laughs> Probably always will be. And I guess it's okay if it overlaps a little bit. Okay. And then on this day, the 23rd, my big cousin is having a grand opening for her business. She just got a brick and mortar um, space for her business. I'm so excited. So, okay. And let's see what's next. On the 19th, I do have a birthday um and this is not my cousin even though they both start with t this is actually what we call her we call her t my the grand opening is um my cousin her name starts with a t we don't call her t but her name starts with one but i don't want to put her whole name because that's her business so um this is t's birthday so i think that's all that i have for this month um i don't know what my electricity bill is gonna be i'm gonna know that up in um, sometime up in here during this week um so my month doesn't pick up until the like as far as events and stuff until the end of this month so birthday which i don't know if i just need to remember to tell her happy birthday i don't know if we're doing anything then my cousin's grand opening and then i'll be out of town the last weekend um in this month for the beginning part of the month things seem to be pretty calm and i'm excited about it because august has worn me out i'm so exhausted so for the notes over here, I do need to write that I'm going to get my tires rotated and balanced because I didn't do that in August and I was supposed to. Um, and then also I need to um, do my official address change. These were two things I was supposed to do in August, but I didn't get to do it so i'm just gonna write august because like girl you need to get that done and then for this month this month's goals i do want to meet with a financial advisor about my retirement um so if you are new to the channel i um was a full-time public school teacher and I'm not anymore. So um, what I'm going to be doing is rolling over my retirement from teaching into um, a personal retirement account so that I can continue to contribute to it. It can continue growing. If I ever change jobs or careers or whatever, I would just roll it over again. So I need to get that going and I need to meet with someone so that they can um, inform me of what's the best route for me to go and like what 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 would be best for my situation so i want to do that with the in, the bank institution that i bank with so 
and in here I'm just gonna put down my grocery stickers I absolutely love using these stickers because um, grocery shopping is not a fave however it still needs to be done so um, my stickers kind of motivate me and what I end up doing is just kind of checking it off after I after I grocery shop I come back to my planner and I will check off um, let me see if I have see like a little check here check there um, I did not grocery shop this week whole other story but I will come back to the planner and like check off that I've went grocery shopping so you know it's just a little motivation for me because grocery shopping is one of those things I don't enjoy obviously I enjoy having groceries <laughs> I enjoy cooking but I don't really like grocery shopping so <clears throat> that's what we have for the month of September okay y'all so this is my monthly budget page um, I did rearrange my stickers a little bit which you guys will see um, so my sources of income are my business and then sometimes I get miscellaneous income not often but sometimes so my variable expenses which is also um, my cash envelopes would be spending gas groceries home eating out medicine um, beauty laundry and then I put my tides under this category because it varies based on what the income is so for spending i'm gonna budget 60 this month usually i would do 40 but because i'm going to louisiana at the end of the month um i want to have some extra money for that gas will be 180 um home will be 60 and i work from home so gas is really not a problem for me um yeah um Oh wait, I messed up. Okay, groceries should have been um, 280. And guys, I don't have whiteout. <laughs> I keep forgetting to buy it. And so that's why I have to just use some of my extra event stickers because yeah, I don't have whiteout. And eating out is 120. Again, this would be 100, but because I'm going out of town, I added an extra 20. So I added an extra 20 to spending and eating out, which I mean, we're going to visit my grandmother. So like, I don't really see us doing much. She, she'll be 87. We're going for her birthday. Um, so yeah, we won't be doing much, but there you go. So I guess for actual, I'm going to have to come here. <laughs> it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of this up. I do live by a main street, so I'm sorry if you guys hear cars. So 8.30 is what the budget is gonna be for variable spending for the month of September. Now we'll move on to my fixed expenses, which will be, um, October's rent and utilities so this is what I'm saving for for this month so I am a month ahead on rent um, <clears throat> so every month I'm saving for the following months uh, rent so Netflix is $11 um, I have cell phone and like I said I'm uh, so embarrassed my phone is so old I'm just so attached to it guys but I think somebody commented on one of my videos one saying that there and she said her iPhone my mouth hit the floor she said um her iPhone died on her so she had to go get another one I was like I would probably just lose it if my phone died on me so I need to just go ahead and get this done because that's the last thing I want to happen while it's still like functioning well 
um, and you know everything can be transferred over to a new phone I just need to get that done so and then electricity we'll find out later hopefully my electricity be, will be going down it's starting to go down so for additional expenses um, again I'm still paying my event ticket so getting into my um, September goals I am going to be focusing on paying off debt this month so I have um, one consumer debt and two business debts so I have a total of three 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 debts um, sinking funds I'm going to budget that I'll be putting in $200. Savings challenge for the month of September. So for the month of September, 138 is the challenge. And I did complete, um, I did complete august savings challenge i know i didn't get to i didn't record myself um because i didn't do a video this past friday but i had uh 48 dollars left to put in there to complete it and i did so we are on to september so these are some additional expenses that i'm um or additional things that my money will go toward this month which is the same it's been like this every month for <laughs> this whole year pretty much so I won't be tallying up the fixed expenses because um, I don't know what my electricity bill is and then rent, I just save it like throughout the month. And so for this bottom column, I have 30 plus 200 plus 138 is 368 is the expected. So yeah, um, so my personal debt is my event ticket from august so i think i'm at i think i'm gonna have less than a hundred dollars left to pay on it after i do this payment and i will pay that off by november but actually i'm hoping to pay it off this month so that'll be um i'll be done with my consumer debt my um business debt you guys know that i'm paying on paying my taxes bill so um i believe i have a little over 500 dollars left for my taxes bill that's going to get paid off by the end of this year and then i also have a business loan that i have been paying on i had not shared that with you guys um but i don't mind sharing it now because i'm pretty much almost done with it I, it's just one and the loan was a little over three thousand dollars it was like 3100 or something like that but i think i have like 400 and something dollars left on it so that is a, a, a business debt that i do foresee being paid off this month so i am praying that by the end of september i will not have a personal consumer debt and then i will be done with my business loan and then all i will have left under the business is taxes which again is just a little a little i think a little under 500 dollars. so um your girl will be back debt free hopefully most of it will be paid off by the end of this month and then um my taxes bill will get paid by the end of the year so this is what we are looking like so far this is my dashboard page which is more of like a planning page i do know that erin i think changed up the layout of the dashboard page in her new planner um my stickers will keep the same layout because nine times out of ten if you are a follower of mine this is the planner that you have um but i will also make that change to my stickers for the new year so that's just gonna be what it is for now now what i decided to do next was lay out my paycheck stickers so i'm taking you guys from the calendar to our whole monthly budget in one on one page and then we take the monthly budget and we break it up into four so for my paychecks um again i don't share the income but i do share with you guys like what i took out of my check to stuff in my 
um, or to, you know, put in my different envelopes and things. So what will go under income for me for my stickers is going to be takeout. So this is what I'm taking out of my checks. Now for my checks, I take out, this is after like tithes, offering, um, taxes, uh, rent, business expenses, business bills, all that stuff. All that stuff gets taken out um, electronically. And so what you guys see me put in cash will be sometimes my bills, my cash envelopes, sinking funds, saving challenges. I did recently just start a, a cash buffer envelope. And then sometimes other things might come up in the month that I need to have some money for. So um, that's what I do there. But under income, I'm gonna put takeout. On a weekly basis, I take out anywhere from two to $600 from my checks, just depending on what kind of expenses I need to pay that week, what the paycheck was looking like that week. So I'm going to put expected for $200 because that is the minimum of what I expect to be able to pull out. So <clears throat> my expenses that I have to take care of on a weekly basis are my bills, my cash envelopes, my sinking funds i'm just gonna put sinkings and savings so that would be my sinking funds and saving challenges my buffer envelope and then i'm gonna put other here for anything else that may come up now i'm doing mine this way because as you guys saw um i do have many different like paychecks throughout the month and so I wanted to find a way to consolidate and be able to use my paycheck stickers. But when I was getting, like if you only get paid twi uh, twice a month or once a month, then you could, you don't have to consolidate um, like I have done. So how I just put cash envelopes, you can actually list out those categories instead of just consolidating into cash envelopes. But that's the reason why I did it this way. Um, it's taken me quite a while to try to find systems that work for me with the type of, um, like the ways that I get paid, but so far I, I think this will work. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to write what I'm taking out. I expect to at least take out 200 and then the expenses that I account for on a weekly basis are my bills, my cash envelopes, my sinking funds and savings challenges, my buffer envelope, and other. And paycheck four. So you guys saw I get paid uh, mainly twice a week. And then what is that? In the third week of every month, I get paid three times that week. So what I typically do is um, I just let the money come in. I don't touch it until Fridays. And then on Fridays, I will like calculate everything that I've got during the week. And then I will, um, from there, take out my, my tithes and my offering and, um, you know, do everything I need to do. So this is what it's looking like. I hope it's not confusing. I know this is my first time doing it like this with you guys, um, but I just feel like this is gonna be what's best for me. So right after the paychecks, we go into the weekly check-in, which is how you keep track of your spending in some of these categories okay guys and just like um i just did with the paycheck for the weekly check-in i'm going to fill in my categories for the entire month so i used to fill these things out on a weekly basis but i learned <clears throat> Excuse me. I learned that um, it's much better if I just do it all at once at the beginning of the month and get it over with and then I don't have to do it again um, throughout the month. 
And of course, if you are someone who likes to do digital budgeting and, and planning, I know that using um, my good notes and things like that, you can be, you know, you'd be able to like write this stuff one time, circle it, copy, paste, but I am just not, um, I am not a digital person by any means necessary when it comes to budgeting or planning. Um, even like with my business, like when I'm coming out with new things or I have new ideas, it's all on paper. It is all on paper. Um, I don't think I will ever get away from, from paper. And I tried digital planning when I was a teacher. Um, and I just didn't like it. I didn't like having to carry my iPad to school. I, I didn't like that at all. Um, not to mention like having to keep that mug charged and having to um, <clears throat> keep my Apple Pencil charged. And, and then I felt like I needed to uh, bring it everywhere with me. I didn't want to set it down anywhere and something happened to it. Um, so yeah, it just wasn't for me. But I do know that if you are someone who likes digital budgeting, that is a perk. So we only have four weeks this month, so I'm not gonna fill that out. I shouldn't, it's there, but I shouldn't really need it. So for week one, that is gonna be September 1st, through the seventh and it's important to know what your weeks are looking like um, so I always like to do that over here on the side week two is going to be yep, September 8th through September 14th week three will be September 15th through September 21st. And then week four is gonna be September 22nd through September 28th. And then the 29th and the 30th of this month is gonna go on to October. Um, October's budget. Okay, y'all. And so for my debt tracker, I'm going to be tracking my taxes, which I think is due on the 21st. And then my event ticket. Yeah, my event ticket is due on the 5th and then my taxes are due on the 21st. And so for taxes, I am starting with 501. With my event ticket, I'm starting with 115. So that's 616. The payment is going to be 65 for taxes and then 30 for my ticket, so that's 95. Um, my taxes does not have interest, but they charge a fee for using your debit card, which actually last month, no, this, well, the month of August, I paid by phone, no, I paid by my bank account, and I don't think it charged me anything. So I think I'm gonna pay the same way this month, and I don't think I'm gonna have a fee, um, but I'm not completely sure. And then after I pay my payment for taxes, I will have a balance of 436. And after I pay my event ticket, I will have a balance of 85. And I actually, like I said, plan on paying that event ticket off this, this month as well as um, my other business loan, which I think the balance, I checked it today, the balance was $497. So in total, my total, like debt for personal and business is about a thousand and something dollars and some change and i will be getting rid of all of that in the next couple of months <clears throat> so that is my debt okay so the last thing in my personal budget is going to be my sinking funds and if you know you know sinking funds are not 
much of a priority for me anymore. They still come in very much, very much, they, they still come in handy. So I do still stuff them, um, but they're just not a huge priority. Birthday has nothing in it because I just had one. <laughs> so we are starting with zero. Uh, wardrobe also is zero. April and May has $70. Outings, zero. When I tell y'all I went to town this month on <laughs> spending this money, <sighs> oh, I spent all the money, especially in this binder. Um, car maintenance has... 40 I did just spend out of this this envelope about a month and a half ago or so to get some things done with my car so miscellaneous has zero so we have some work to do getting money back in these funds gift has gifts has 33 my goddaughter has 62 and medical has 34 this binder is an absolute shambles <laughs> this but I have never had this like the money has never been that low in that binder i think since i've had it it's absolutely insane okay car tags this is also an envelope i just used i just renewed my tags in june has 36. electronics has 17. emergency which this amount is not accurate but I'm gonna stick with with what we have in there 1240 giveaways has 10 we just had a giveaway for 20,000 subscribers Christmas has 82 functions I know has zero because I pulled out of there as well <laughs> and car tires has 121 so I'm gonna go ahead and calculate this up and see what we are working with here so 70 17 45 So this is currently how I do my budget for my business. Um, but I think I did mention last month that I, the business has grown and there's like different facets to it now. And it's just getting a little bit beyond me and a little bit beyond what I can keep track of um, manually. So I will be um, experimenting with like QuickBooks in the new year for my business um, also um, I don't know if it's like this in the United States period or just like in the state of Texas we have um, three years for our businesses to show profit or else the government will shut you down <laughs> um, so essentially the um, essentially the government like i said here in texas i don't know if it's like that everywhere but here in texas they they essentially give you like three years to kind of get your stuff together 
get your business together, um, you know, show a profit. And if you don't, if you are not showing a profit in three years, if you are constantly showing like a loss, like your business is not making money and the government has to give you money and all that stuff, um, after three years, you know, it's not looking good for you. So thankfully, um, my business has shown profit all in all three years, two years, I think. So my business has been around for three years, but I would only have two years of returns, if that makes sense. Yeah. So every year I owe taxes because I've made profit. So I do not claim a loss on my business. Um, I do not want to claim a loss on my business because that's when the government will start, like they'll start honing in on you if you're claiming a loss and, and claiming that you don't owe them any taxes or claiming that they owe you money, they will start keeping an eye on you. So I knew when All Things Plan got started from the very beginning, and I knew this because I had a previous business. So I knew from the very beginning, I'm like, I am not claiming a loss at, at all. So every year I pay taxes on my business. No matter what the amount is, I pay it because I, I always want my business to show that it's making a profit because I don't want the government reaching out to me, calling me, contacting me. I don't want to go through uh, audits or nothing like that. So yeah, I feel like I lost my train of thought. But anyway, um, oh, okay, yeah. So I was saying like the government basically uh, here in Texas gives you like three years to kind of like get your stuff together. So I don't really have, much, I shouldn't, God willing, I shouldn't have anything to worry about because like I said, I do not claim a loss on my business. I pay taxes every single year. I constantly want to show every year that my business is making a profit so that the government does not begin to keep an eye on me. So um, with that being said, I do need to kind of get some better systems in place with tracking my business expenses and tracking the losses and tracking, you know, I kind of, y'all know I'm the queen of condensing around here clearly, but I really want to I really want the business to be more detailed. Um, and like I said, this worked for like the first like year, year and a half. But as time goes on and it, you know, more things get involved and I have some new projects coming out in the new year, which I cannot wait to tell you guys about in a few months from now, but I have new projects coming out and um, I won't be doing this next year. I want to get into QuickBooks. I want a system that's more it's a little bit more professional and more efficient than just me keeping up with everything by hand. So <clears throat> this is the business budget. Um, I'm going to stop here. So this is my main variable expenses, fixed expenses, and then anything additional that comes up, I put it down here. My mom does help me in the business sometimes and I do pay her when she does. So um, that's going to be all for the personal and business budget setup. I'm going to flip over to the dashboard and um, show you guys that. Okay, y'all. So this is my dashboard page and I'm not going to fill out the whole page because um, I kind of fill it out as the month goes on. But I do know that my main goal is the same every single month is to have my rent together for the next month. Um, my big sister, um, she's more like she's not my biological sister but i call her we call each other sisters <laughs> she's from new orleans and i've known her since i was like a teenager and she adopted me as her little sister many years ago so <clears throat> she's my sister her birthday and then the habits that i want to uh, track will be my devotion and bible study um this was the same habit that i tracked last month so you guys know i just got into like bible studying with uh, watching Melody Elisa, she's a YouTuber here. Uh, I just, I'm just so grateful for her. Um, events will be my cousin's grand opening. Projects I usually say for business stuff. Um, important, can you guys see that? My tires my address change 
and I need to start working on my retirement um, rollover and um, meeting with that financial advisor. And I'm gonna stop here. So this is going to conclude my monthly budget setup video for the month of September. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I apologize if I am not sounding my best or if the video was a little all over the place. Um, but I'm just grateful that I got through it. I actually had to like stop midway and say a prayer because the way my voice was acting up, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but we made it. So hopefully I will be feeling better in the next day or two. And I'll see you guys back for my Friday cash stuffing. Um, don't forget that the October kits will be available this Friday, September 1st. And I should have the full kits printed out um, and be able to show them to you on Friday in size seven by nine, which is the planner that I use. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. If not, I'll see you back on Friday. Bye.